Now to an important conversation. September is Brain Aneurysm Awareness Month. It is a condition that affects about one in every 50 Americans. They happen when you get a bulge or a ballooning of a blood vessel in the brain, and most aneurysms go undetected. But brain aneurysms that leak or rupture are extremely dangerous, and they're often fatal. They can cause a type of stroke that is one of the leading causes of death or disability. CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson and cerebrovascular neurosurgeon Dr. Christopher Kellner are both here to discuss this uh, in depth with us. Sharon, I want to start with you because, um, frankly, you have a very personal connection this year. You join our show all the time to give us the best personal advice when it comes to our finances. But this is a very different type of story, one that I just learned recently. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, seven years ago this week, my life changed forever. I was going to the gym, and I was trying to work out and have my spinach shake in the morning and do all the right things to stay healthy. And I had the worst headache I've ever experienced in the back of my head as I was in a yoga pose. And that I now know was when I had a ruptured brain aneurysm. I went home, I should have gone to the ER absolutely first, but I went home, put up my feet, told work I wasn't coming in, and went to see my doctor. The primary care physician who saw me said, he just thought of the worst case scenario and told mm -hmm. me to go to a hospital and get a scan, which is where they found with the CT scan bleeding in the brain. And then I went to another hospital to then have a craniotomy, have brain surgery, to have two clips put into to repair this blood vessel that had ruptured in my brain. Um, and we have all a of that of this was actually done, right here. That's so me that in ICU in September of 2016. Mm -hmm. And and all of that so all of that happened in 12 hours. Wow. And every moment is so important with brain aneurysms. Yeah. And so many people so many women in particular power through the pain, right? And it's really important. If you feel something unusual, know your body and get to a hospital. And kudos to your doctors for elevating Absolutely. your care and escalating it immediately. 12 hours and all of those surgeries hours. and visits. Yeah. How has your recovery been, Sharon? I don't think people would know because, you know, just watching you and listening to you that you went through this seven years ago. And have you changed any of your habits? Well, I was out of work for a full year. Mm -hmm. I was on medical leave for a year. After that moment. After that moment. Um, I didn't come back to work till September of 2017. Wow. And in that time, I had to learn how to balance, how to walk upstairs, how to balance a checkbook. I'm supposed to tell people about how to manage their money. I had to figure out how to do that on my own because I couldn't. Mm. So for a long period of time, I needed help for a lot of those things. So physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy to figure out how to communicate, which is our livelihood, mm -hmm. was really important and took me a lot of time to do that. And then when I came back to work, I couldn't do the 120% right away like we are right. usually doing. So I, I took time to kind of get back up to speed. And I'm so grateful that I found a support system mm -hmm. through the Brain Aneurysm Foundation, a support group to help me. And then I got to find out, why me? Why not me? Because now I can raise awareness. Yeah. But why me? Black female, 48 years old, with a family history of brain hemorrhages. Yeah. All of that made me a potential candidate for this disease. And I mean, I'm just so uh, touched, right? I mean, to hear you even just share this with us. And I think you're <coughs> helping so many people by sharing your story. To kind of bring in the medical perspective here, Dr. Kellner, how common are these brain aneurysms? I mean, we hear about them, but, but people, I don't think, have a, a sense of the statistics, of the numbers. How common is it for them to actually rupture? Yeah, the, to have a brain aneurysm is actually surprisingly common. About one in 50 people have a brain aneurysm, but only about 1% of people who have a brain aneurysm suffer a rupture. Mm. There are about 30,000 people in the United States every year who suffer a rupture. Sharon touched on some of those for us, but Dr. Kellner, go through the warning signs and symptoms and what should you do if you experience them? Some of the warning signs are, the characteristic statement is, this is the worst headache of my life. So if you experience a sudden severe headache, it's the worst headache of your life, and you might even feel like you got hit in the head with something. Or some people even describe it as a thunderclap headache, where you might have wow. heard something like a thunderbolt as the aneurysm ruptured. That sudden severe headache that's different from all the other headaches you might have had in your life, that's really the warning sign. You could also have sti a stiff neck or nausea and vomiting. If you have those kinds of symptoms, you've really got to get to the emergency room very quickly and get evaluated. Which is tough, because they can sound, feel like common symptoms, you know, of other things yeah. there. The worst headache of your life, that yeah. is a good one. And don't be shy about going to a doctor to get that shy. checked Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Sharon Epperson, thank you very, very much for sharing your personal story. Dr. Christopher Kellner, we appreciate your medical perspective as well. Thank you both. And thank you. You're watching NBC News Daily.